Hi, I'm KYP. I'm the head DJ and one of the partners at Infected. Yeah, well, KYP. Uh, everybody wants to know what KYP stands for, I guess. KYP stands for Know Your Product. Uh, it's a joke I had with some friends. Um, and uh, we, I used to say, music is my product, music is my life. Uh, I love music, I breathe music. So uh, when I had to come up with a DJ name, I thought Know Your Product was a good one to come up with. The music that I play uh, varies from tech trance right through to uh, hard style. Depends on which part of the, the, the set I'm playing, I guess. Um, for me, anything with a dark, deep, uh, skanky beat, a hard driving bass line, and, um, and something to make you move, you know, something to, that, that really, really takes hold of your body and makes you want to flow. I'll play it. I don't really care which genre that fits into in uh, from tech trance, hard trance, hard dance or hard style. It makes no difference as long as it's uh, deep, as long as it's dark. It's got those old fashioned acid overtones to it. You know, I'm on it. I guess another thing with dancing is uh, dancing is an expression uh, of, of music. People dance because they feel the beat, they feel the beat and they feel the music. And in saying that uh, shuffling and stomping is good, I don't care if somebody shuffles, I don't care if they stomp, I don't care if they stand there and just flow backwards and forwards slowly, as long as they're feeling the music and as long as they're feeling the beat, that's the most important thing. Whether they're a, a number one dancer or whether they're standing in the corner tapping their feet, you know, to me, as long as they're feeling it, that's the important thing. The Melbourne dance style is very unique uh, in itself. The Melbourne shuffle is known all over the world now. It used to be fairly underground and used to be fairly reserved to a, to a small location like Melbourne, but, but now it's, people are starting to know it all over the world and starting to show interest all over the world. If you go into YouTube and places like that, there's, some of them have hundreds and hundreds and thousands of hits. Some of them have a, a million of hits on there, the things that they put up. It's, uh, like I said before, it's unique and it's special. Uh, it's exciting. The stop's starting to come through now. That's the next uh, development from Melbourne Shuffle. It's the next step. The shufflers don't like the stomp. I guess the stompers don't like the shuffle, but that's once again a, a bit of a generation gap there. Um, but it is very exciting and it's very unique. It's, uh, I'm proud to say it's uh, from this great town in Melbourne. What do I feel when I'm DJing? It's really, really hard to explain about the, the feel, but it is a feeling. It's, uh, it's almost therapy. It, it's a release from, from uh, modern life and from pressure. And it's really a chance to get up there and express how you feel through music. Um, music's been around since tribal times, I guess. It's, uh, it's always been there and people always express stuff through music. And as a DJ, you can personally express how you feel and, and, and how you want people to feel through the music that you play. And, uh, and when you look down and see people feeling uh, what you're playing and feeling those beats, how you feel them, it's a really, really good feeling. It's, uh, it's almost an addiction. The future of, uh, of this style of music, I guess, uh, it changes. It's the, the hard dancing and especially the non-commercial one, it progresses and it develops and it totally changes. Um, every three or four years, it's something completely different. Different. It's always exciting, it's always new, um, and it's always something completely away from the last thing. We don't have a, a scene that runs the same kind of thing for 10, 15, 20 years. It, it, it totally, totally builds into the next thing. You know, house into hard house, into, into trance, into, into hard trance, and tech trance, and and uh, hard style and jump style, it, 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 it uh, forever evolves and it, it never stops and we never really know what's going to happen next year or the year after, it, it, it kind of does its own thing. Even with us influencing the music that people are listening to and trying to, trying to educate them into the sound and into the scene, uh, you never know how it's going to change, you never know what's coming next. You can predict it and you think you're going to get it right but you never, never do. The, the generation of youth that come through two years from now um, will have different morals and they'll have uh, 
different ways of communicating with each other and they'll have different styles of dance that they're just probably only just starting to develop now. And we never know where they're going to go with that and, and we never know where that's going to go. So I think this scene will be here for a long time just for the exciting part of it. Um, as long as we can keep it good and as long as we can keep it happy and, uh, and get the right message out there, I think we'll be here for a long time. Ambitions, dreams and goals, I guess, is a, is a question that everybody asks. My uh, ambitions and dreams at the moment is just for people to feel what I feel in the music. You know, if they can feel what I feel in it, and if they can, can uh, walk away understanding uh, how I feel about it, and with the same self-happiness uh, and charged emotions that music gives me, if, if I can just portray that to the people out there listening to what I play, they're my ambitions and goals. Uh, they're, I've succeeded in everything I want to do. That's, that's all, I, all I want to do. Uh, who knows what will happen in the future? Nobody can tell, I guess that's the future, but as long as they're listening to me and as long as they're feeling me, that's, that's not the established.